Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for today, November 9th. So November 9th to the 10th. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is the energies I'm picking up on today. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Sometimes these don't resonate. Sometimes they don't resonate today. Sometimes they resonate days later. And this isn't a private reading. So... Fresh new star starting at zero. You think about zero. Zero, you know, that's before the one. It is the very, very, very beginning. Like, you haven't even taken any steps yet. So we have a fresh start from zero. Okay. And, you know, to take that step, you're going to have to take a risk to take that step. So somebody may be thinking about taking a risk. Having that fresh start? <laughs> okay, well, we have this King of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, not able to master their emotions, not thinking clearly. Withdrawn, detached. So I don't know who this is. Could be anybody at all, but we have somebody who is really having a hard time communicating. This person can't communicate at this time. It does not have the emotional substance within them to do much. Their best course of action at this point is to hide it. Hide their feelings within. So somebody is keeping their feelings, you know, inside, withdrawing, retreating. Oh, the Empress reversed. So, <laughs> you know what this looks like to me. It looks like we have a man and a woman. Okay, we have a man and a woman. Because this is a woman. You can't change this shit up, okay? She's a woman. And there's somebody wants a fresh start, but somebody didn't see a woman's worth. This, you know, I didn't see this woman's worth, right? There's a lack of respect for this woman. And therefore, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we can create anything here. Now, this woman in reverse can be smothering. She could be very smothering, very... Um, Lacking, she's lacking her own self-worth. You know, she doesn't even know her own worth in reversed. So if she doesn't know her own worth, then why would he respect her or see her worth, right? Interesting. But it looks like somebody's still holding on. Holding on. Tightly holding on. There's some sort of obsession here. Holding on to something. This is Taurus and Libra. Could be anybody. This is an Aries. Now this could be an apology. Somebody could be offering an apology. They've found their moral backbone to take a risk. Now this woman also in reverse, she has multiple opportunities. She does. She does. Upright or in reverse. She has multiple opportunities. She's very beautiful. She's the goddess of love. She is. She's beautiful. And upright or reversed. This is a, a somebody coming with an offer. They found the moral backbone to start over. The page of pentacles is starting over. So And they're mirroring each other. Somebody may be coming with, an, with a... A message that they want to, to start over. I mean, that's what this looks like. They can't let it go. They can't let it go. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. So you could be hearing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about something. Whatever it is. You could be. Don't get your hopes up. 
Anyway, um, interesting. Uh oh. No, it's not uh oh, it's a yay. Okay, there's a destined change of course. There is. There's a destined change of course here that is leading somebody towards good good fortune, something really, really good. But in order to get this good fortune, a risk is gonna be somebody's gonna have to take a risk. Okay? The wheel of fortune is brings you everything. Okay, it does. It's it's good luck. It's going to bring you anything, you know, that you've been wishing for. Okay, but in order to get this good fortune, somebody is going to have to take a risk. And see, the Wheel of Fortune is also about free will. It is free will and destiny. There's a destined change, of course, in which somebody has to take that action. They have to find that mental strength to do so and we have a man here that doesn't have it at this point i'm sorry i am i mean that man is reversed and i know there's lots of people that want to change it up but i'm not that reader and you know it okay, you know it by now yeah this man is afraid to communicate he is this man's afraid to communicate there's been a lack of respect probably in both arenas There's a lack of appreciation. <laughs> and in order for this to work out, there's going to have to be teamwork. Big time. And there hasn't been teamwork in the past. It goes both ways. It, it can't be one-sided. You have to work together. You know? To bring all the good things into your life, teamwork is needed. Period. Between a man and a woman. And for those of you that are in same-sex relationships, you, you figure that out, okay? It can be uh, masculine and feminine, all right? Masculine and feminine. But there's an opportunity for extreme abundance here. There really is. Long-term happiness, abundance. Between these two people, there is an opportunity for that. But communication, teamwork, appreciation, and mutual respect is needed. And both people have to work on it together. And it is risky business. But it looks like this, and the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. It is. So there's a destined couple that is supposed to be working together but in order for this to work and be successful there's somebody is going to have to probably you know find their moral backbone to apologize i mean come with something solid she's got a solid opportunity she's got something in her hand she's got a solid opportunity in her hand or a solid offer it's a message pages it's a message it's i think it's an apology like i said don't get your hopes up especially from this man okay don't get your hopes up because he has a really hard time he'd rather block it escape i mean if you think about it he's the king of cups he's a water sign if he can escape reality he will and that is exactly what is going on here This is coming quick, coming quick. This is finding the courage and moving swiftly towards abundance. Can't let something go. I need to take fast action. It's been stalled. The action is this total contradiction right here. Something has been stalled because there was going to have to be a solid offer. And therefore it was just like, oh, man that you know I, I don't I don't think I have that to offer and it feels like somebody is unable to let go of something that is solid they know it's solid 
They do. They know it's solid, and they may be charging in or going back to their family, going back to their roots, going back to their stability. See where he's headed? After stalling for so long, unable to take action because when you come back, you better have something in your hand or you better have something solid and stable. Because this woman, she's not going to accept anything less. And she may have in the past because she didn't know her worth. But we have the emperor on the bottom of the deck. Again, family. There's a family man here. This guy wants his family back or his stability or his security. But he has to dominate the situation. The man is the, is the, is the main um, dominator in this situation. He's the dominant one. It's up to the man to take action. He's the leader. He's the boss. He's the boss. A woman that chases men... This is what this is. The, the Empress reversed is a woman who chases men. Loses. She doesn't get respect. There's no respect for a woman that chases men. Men don't respect that. They don't. Not in the long run, they don't. Uh-uh. Nope. The Empress in the upright is a woman who does not chase anybody. She knows what she is worth. She has a lot of life experience behind her back. She will not settle. And she has settled in the past and she didn't get respect. And now this is where she's, now she's, she's alone because she didn't, she didn't respect herself. She chased a man. I could go on and on and on. The empress in the upright, she knows better. And reversed, she doesn't. Now we have a soulmate here. These are soulmates. They are. It's a, it's, a, it's a power couple. It is. But in order for security and stability to come back, this man is going to have to take the lead. He's in control. Not the woman. Somebody is getting unstuck, removing some obstacles. <laughs> but we, again, we have this woman, the goddamn five of swords. I hate this. Ego. <laughs> Ego. Ego has gotten in the way. It's caused a lot of power struggles and it's caused a lot of conflicts. Maybe now it's time to give up that ego. Stop being so stubborn. Stop hanging on to the past grudges. Remove those negative thoughts. Remove those obstacles from your life. There's a lot of negative thoughts. There's, there's also um, somebody that has stalled this person from taking action. There is. I think there is a man that wants to go back, but in the meantime, there was another woman who who held him back from coming forward. Whether this woman is a, you know, another partner or a mother or somebody has held this man. You see, he's looking, he's going, moving away from this woman. He's not looking at her anymore. He's wanting to take a risk on his true path you know what I mean so we have a man that's that is about to change his life for the better by taking a risk these are both a sign of Aries by the way so 
anyway, this 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 is a change of course, a big one. This is a new chapter that is about to, to start. Somebody takes a risk and a new chapter starts and it brings them like a instant abundance, seriously. This change of course is going to bring you <laughs> something really, really, really good, put it that way. The Wheel of Fortune upright is really, really good. But this man has to take that risk. He does. He's going to get something really good out of it. No kidding. And it's destiny. This, whatever is happening it today, tomorrow, whatever, is destined to happen at this time. But in the meantime, there has been a woman that has been like the monkey in the middle. And she's been the monkey in the middle. And that's why he has not been able to, it stalled him from taking action. There's been a lot of pride that has gotten in the way with this card. And I think that the ties are being severed with this person so that he can move forward. These obstacles, this woman was an obstacle. This obstacle is being removed. This obstacle is being removed. It held him back from moving towards his true abundance, you know, his, his long-term committed partner, his wife or whoever it was, the, the divine partner, whatever, whatever. I feel as though, I don't know where wife came from. Anyway, um... And now maybe this woman, maybe this woman is giving up, you know, she's maybe she's going to start to see her worth and give up. If there's no togetherness, if there's no communication, maybe he realizes that he probably realizes that if he doesn't take a risk, like right now, divine, I mean, right now with this wheel of fortune, somebody else could swoop in and steal his happiness. Because he delayed by playing with this one. Ha! Interesting. Interesting. So, um, these cards, they could go so many ways. There is an opportunity for a fresh new start here. Where you start at zero. And with the, with the uh, Fool card, you don't take the past with you. The past stays it's done. It's over. No looking back. I'm not talking about this couldn't be a reconciliation. I'm talking about the past hurts, the past uh, burdens, you know, what happened in the past. You know what? To have a fresh start, whether it's a reconciliation or brand new, that past baggage needs to be left behind. We're not going, we're going to talk about it. Yes, we're going to talk about it and we're going to hash it out and then we're going to leave it in the past. That's what this is. We're going to leave it in the past. We're going to start fresh from, from zero. Like we're going to start at the very beginning again. Like we never met. A fresh start. That's hard to do, isn't it? But... There's an opportunity to start a new chapter. But this man fears that he doesn't have enough to offer. He doesn't think he... He wants to take a risk, but he doesn't think he has enough to offer. He's afraid. He's afraid. He is. He's afraid to open his heart. He's afraid to love. Oh, my God. You know, this man may be giving up on love. He may be giving up on love.
it looks like he's sick of doing whatever he's doing though he's sick of it he don't want to do this anymore I don't want to do this anymore so it looks like he may find the confidence even though he's really weary he is he's really weary he may find the confidence to move forward to take action I think that we do have a man here that is making progress in regards to opening his heart again he is making progress but right now his heart is shut down his heart is shut down shut down and he wants it to change and he's ready for a change but in order for this to change he's gonna have to take a risk and offer his heart and his heart has been hurt really badly and men do hurt so don't think they don't yeah he's going through a lot of uh, mental anguish right now trying to make a decision about this woman she's also stressing as well there's a lot of stress here and he's feeling it and she's feel they're both feeling the stress. The stress is being felt on a on a very high level. In the heart. But it's it's time. It's time. It's time for this to end. It's time for a decision to be made. It's time to step over that finish line and start anew. It's time. It's time time to travel to your destination. That's no joke. So it looks like somebody is probably making the decision or thinking about making, they're thinking about taking a risk and heading in that direction of their heart's true desire. Because wherever they've been, there's been too much stress. There's been too much anguish and too much dissatisfaction. And even though there was a lack of respect between the two, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Or there, if, if there's nobody from your past, there still could be somebody brand new. I think somebody, I think uh, this, this really looks like, to me, that it is somebody headed towards I think it's some sort of reconciliation of some sort I really do and I don't know why that is so strong for me we don't have the Ace of Cups we don't have the Two of Cups we don't have the Ten of Cups we don't have the Lover's Card um, we don't have the Six of Cups, even though that's the past. I feel like there's an opportunity to start over with whoever it is that you're thinking about. You know what I mean? That's what I think this is. I think there's an opportunity for a fresh new start with somebody that you're either with right now or that you're thinking about. I do. I do. Do I think that there is somebody new coming? This is, must be for a certain amount of people. For a certain segment of people or whatever. Because, I mean, there's a many people out there that would not even consider it. But somebody is being called to take a risk. And that can be male or female. That fool. Take a risk. But... If you've been used and abused in the past, like her, you know, you may not be, dare to. You may be like, you know what, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm stepping over that finish line and I'm not looking back. I'm done. This chapter is closed. Closed. So, hey, that could be the case. This this woman right here, she wasn't respected. She wasn't valued by this man. And she's like, Pfft. you know, that could certainly be the case. She's like, you know what, I'm done. I'm out of here. 
I'm out of here. I'm moving on. I'm having my fresh new start elsewhere with somebody that will respect me and recognize me. You know, because she was probably dealing with somebody, could have been a water sign that, or an Aries or somebody that didn't respect her, that caused her so much stress. This could go so many freaking ways. There's so many people. So there is. There's a, there's a man that didn't communicate and he can't communicate because he's so closed off emotionally. And this woman, she's she's been brought down by it. You know, with that five of swords, she has. She, it, it she was belittled and she lost her self-worth and you know whatever and now she has to remove that obstacle and get back she has to heal and get back to where she was so that she can find her abundance i mean like i said this could go so many different ways either way so if you are single there's an opportunity for a fresh new start there's a change of course that's going to bring you something good period a man is going to probably communicate you if you're single, if you are a couple, there's an opportunity to start over from ground zero right now. If you communicate, communication is key. If you are waiting for somebody to contact you that hasn't contacted you, there is a possibility that this person may step outside of their ego and contact you. Do I feel like that is very feasible? Probably not. Once, once that ego is so huge, it's really, really hard for somebody to recognize that it is it's it's pretty much um unheard of so i mean it can happen but it's definitely not an everyday thing but the universe works in mysterious ways and we do have the universe here okay this is a universe card the wheel of fortune okay we do so we do have a major completion here some but some one phase of someone's life is completing so that a new one will begin so somebody has been stuck in a situation needing for something to end and it is about to end there's going to be an ending of some sort there is there absolutely is with this one and this one something is ending and it's going to be the end of the stress it is because you see what's here whatever you've been mentally anguished over it's it's going to change and it's going to change for the better it is going to change for the better but somebody's going to have to take action and maybe it even involves moving or traveling maybe you need to move okay move you know, someplace completely different so somebody may be going to another place you know to start a new life so that's absolutely an option here and I think that's pretty uh prominent <laughs> I do I think there's been you know there's been a another person in the mix that has divided two people and somebody is moving on to a better place and that's what I see so do we need an oracle card? Well, this is pretty long, but this is, and when I, I said in a reading the other day about long, the longer the reading, the longer the drawn out situation, and that's the truth. This has been a situation that has been going on for quite some time and somebody is about to end it and something is ending with that world card and that wheel of fortune it's it's done it's done we're either gonna we're either gonna take this risk or we're not and if we're not i'm moving moving on i'm gonna start my life someplace else you know somebody is gonna start a life in a in a different direction where they will be respected they will be recognized. So, yeah, I feel like there's a, a there's a big change on the horizon with that Wheel of Fortune and that World card. There's a completion here that is leading somebody towards victory and success and more abundance. No shit. Okay, victory and success, victory and success. Here's the change, the Wheel of Fortune, good luck, abundance, abundance. Where Whatever is happening right now, is going to bring you to a better place. Trust me. Oh my goodness. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. I knew that's what was going to happen. We're going to read them both fogged in oh my god i opened the book right to it huh that's funny 
it's crazy. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe when you take the time to go slowly. New perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. It's funny because this is slow and this is fast. Interesting. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. And I'm going to say this again. This is especially for fire signs, okay? Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Sometimes the mist and fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, in those moments of unknowing, that, that the deepest and most profound answers to life big questions emerge. Big questions emerge. The secret is to, is to traverse slowly and carefully so as to not fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen. Trust your inner voice. Infinite abundance. It's a long one. It's been going on for a while. Everything is blossoming and bearing fruit now. Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is being activated. A stream of abundance in all areas of life is ready to flow into your life. The Creator desires that you prosper. Take action in the direction of your dreams. Oh my God. That's the freaking truth, too. This is not the time to passively wait for prosperity to fall into your lap. Get moving. Life goes in cycles. There are times when fields lay fallow, and there are times of harvest. Right now, you are moving toward a harvest time to receive an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. However, and that is totally what I remember I kept on saying something really, really good, like I told you, but you gotta take a risk. But anyway, however, you must first know that you deserve it. Oh my goodness. And you do. You do. There are times on the journey when life is follow, but in the times of harvest, the sacred traveler shares the bounty and even volunteers and even volunteers to help others in their crops. This is the time to give deeply and fully of who you are and what you have. For the more you truly give, the more you receive. It's a universal law. As you focus on gratitude for what you already have, your abundance will grow in leaps and bounds. So it is a time. It's a time of change and it's a time of change and it's a time of receiving the abundance you deserve that you are destined to have in your life. But in order to receive it, you're going to have to take a risk. Here's to new beginnings, okay? We have the, the very first card in the deck and the last card in the deck. This was the very first card I pulled for the tarot. Wasn't this the, was this the last one I pulled? It was, it was right here. This was the last card I pulled. We have a traveler. We have a, a person that has been through every card in the deck okay all those experiences he's it's I've, 
we've reached the end of the road. <laughs> I hate to say that. I said that in another reading, but whatever. It's like it's it's time to start over. It's time to begin again. That chapter of your life, that phase is over. And it's time to start that next phase without bringing the past behind. It's time to begin again. We have a new beginning here. Good luck.